Hey, Scott Austin here, and in this video, I want to show you how you can connect JudgeMe to Clavio and get a feed of your reviews so that you can use that feed of reviews in a Clavio email that looks something like this one. So this is a, a typical email we'll make for a welcome series in Clavio, and you can see here it just shows recent customer reviews. So we're showing the most recent five-star customer reviews for this store. So that whenever this goes out, it gets updated with more recent reviews, and it's not just a static list. In the past, I've done this by you know taking images, snapshots, something like this. But it being feed-based is much more dynamic, and it's actually easier to implement. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And the first step you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be inside a Clavio, and you're going to want to get your Clavio API key. And that is you're going to take that, and you're going to add that to Judge Me. Um, to can start the connection of the integration. Because what happens is JudgeMe sends information to Clavio using that key. So you go into Clavio, create a key, which is basically going to unlock Clavio for JudgeMe. Then you hand that key to JudgeMe, and it's going to use it to push information into Clavio. So the way we do that, let's just get to the top level of our Clavio implementation here. And I've done it all these steps already, uh, so I'm just going to show you where they're done and how they're done but I won't be doing them because they've already been connected, right, and already been set up. So he, down here, now on the top level of Clavio, I go down to this uh, section here, and we go to um, Settings, and we go to API Keys, which is right here. So it's under the Account tab and then API Keys. And what you want to do is create a private API key. And you see I've already created one for Judge Me. So you'll create private API key, and you want all permissions, so you want full access. Um, and then you'll create it, which I'm not going to do because we already have one. And it'll give you an API key. So then you'll take that API key, and, and you can see here. Let's see if I can see my API key here. I don't know why I can't see it here. Maybe I can only see it when I create it. I didn't realize that. Um, but when you create it, you'll have the API key, and you can copy it right there. All right? So then what you're going to do is you're going to take that API key, and you're going to go into your Shopify store, and you're going to go to your JudgeMe app. So in the Shopify admin, you'll go down to apps. I've got JudgeMe pinned open already here, but if you don't, you can select it. And you have to be on the awesome or the paid plan of JudgeMe for this feed stuff to work. And then once you go to your JudgeMe app, Right, you're going to want to go to your general settings, and you're going to go to integrations right here, and select email marketing, and you'll see Clavio on the list, and there it is, and you'll say connect. Now, we're already connected, but here you can see this is where you're going to paste that API key that we got from Clavio a moment ago, um, and then you're going to want to check the settings down here. All right, so this is for sending review events to Clavio. And up here, you know, I always turn that one on because that lets Clavio know who left positive reviews, and then you can trigger emails off of that. But what we want for the situation we're working on today, which is a Clavio review feed, you want to check these checkboxes, right? And the one we're going to use in the welcome series email is this enable review testimonials feed. So we're turning it on up here, and it's telling us what the URL for it is down here. And you're going to want to copy that. Um, information. And then once you, you know you set that up, you'll have the save button be activated. You'll click it. It'll save all of that. And you'll, you'll have it all working for you. So from there, then what you want to do is you want to go into Clavio and create this feed. So what we do there is we want to go into um, our settings again. So we're already on the settings, but the way we get there is down at the bottom. We click on settings. And we want to go to Other, the last tab at the top. And then there's uh, Web Feeds right here. We're going to want to add a Web Feed. And what our Web Feed is going to be is um, I'm going to give you a name for it because we're going to use that in code in a little bit. Right? And it's going to be Judge Me Review Testimonials Feed, all one word. Right? It'll look like, copying it from another source on the screen, it'll look like this. Right? You're going to want to paste your feed URL, and that was right here, right? The, the middle one, we copy that. 
back into Clavio and paste it. And then we leave the request and content type the way they are, get and JSON. And then you would add that web feed. I'm not going to click that button because I already have that web feed. All right, and that's what you see here is here's that web feed already created. So then that gives us a web feed coming from Judge Me in your Shopify store that shows your recent reviews. So then what we do is we go into our email flow where we want to add the um, feed information. And I usually do, like I said, in a welcome series. And this one here is the fourth email in the series. We'll scroll down to that, customer reviews. And we're going to edit that email. Now, I've already got it set up here, but the way we do that, just to show you, is you can add a text block. I'm going to add it down below for right now. And I'm just going to go in here and go into source code views. This is where I've already got it from. So what I'm going to have for you is this code is going to be in a little snippet. Um, if you're on the JPuma website, it'll be right on the blog article page you're watching this video on. If you're in YouTube watching this video, There'll be a link to the blog article on the Jade Puma site that you can click to and go grab this code, okay? Um, so you'll just copy that code, and then in the block that you just added, the text block, you're going to want to go to Source Code View, select that, highlight everything that's already there and delete it, and then just paste the code you copied. And there's going to be one update you're going to make on this if you want to make that update, right? And that is the color code right here for your stars, All right? The uh, color code I have here right now is this subtle green, which is part of the, the brand for this, uh, this store here. Um, the code you're gonna grab, there's gonna be a, a generic, you know, review star yellow in there. But if you wanna change that to match to whatever your brand colors are for your review stars, you just update that, that hex code right there um, and that's the only change you need to make to this. And what this is bringing in for you is, you know, you're going to get the, let's actually show it to you in preview mode. This brings in the review text. Right now we're showing up to 140 characters. That's another setting you can adjust in the code. We're bringing in the five stars and the code filters out to show only five star reviews. We bring in the review name and the product name, and it links to the product. Um, I tried to get it to work with the uh, product image, but I haven't gotten that to work yet. So in the future, I'm going to want to update this video once and, and update the code once I figure out how to get the product image to show up, because I think that will make the, uh, the, the page a little more compelling. Um, and here you can see the testimonial content, and I truncate that at 140 words. So if you wanted to show the fuel, you know, the full text that they leave in the review, you could just remove that code there from code view, right? It's right down here. You could just remove this bit right here if you wanted to. Or if you didn't want so much text, you could make this, you know, 40 words or whatever you want. But that's another adjustment you can make to this element. And then that's it. Um, it it's easy as that to get these dynamic feed of Judge Me uh, reviews showing up in your Clavio emails. So uh, thanks for watching.